So hands up if you've ever been to London. Maybe you've been to Big Ben. Maybe you've seen someone play football at Wembley Stadium. So hands up if you've ever been to London when it's been taken over by a ruthless species of aliens who are hell-bent on destroying the entire Earth population. Yeah, so I bet you didn't see that one coming, did you? Well, neither did Sam Riley, the main character in Mark Walden's exciting new book, Earthfall, the first in a planned series. We first encounter Sam as he's living underground, undercover, trying to escape these aliens that have taken over London, and as far as he knows, the rest of the world. For 18 months, Sam has not even so much as spoken to another human being. Imagine that. Imagine how freaked out you'd be. That is, until he's rescued from an attack, by a small resistance cell, a group of teenagers who are somehow not under control of the alien powers. But how long can they hold out? And why are they not under the control of the aliens? And will Earth ever be the same again? Or will Sam have to sit by powerless and watch as Earth falls? I really feel that from the very beginning you really get inside Sam's mind and that's really cool. Mark Walden uses some um, great plot techniques such as flashbacks to help you with that. My only problem is that once Sam starts getting introduced to the other characters and there are a lot of other characters, you start kind of losing Sam's character a bit as you start to get to know the others. In a very short space of time we're introduced to a whole cast of characters and sometimes it's hard to work out who's who after only hearing their name like once. And it's hard to empathise with them or even care about them, which is a shame. The dialogue is really good though. And that helps with the characters, particularly Rachel and Jay, who you'll meet later on. The choice of setting and Mark Walden's description is extremely effective. We see landmarks such as Big Ben and Wembley Stadium as you've never seen them before. And Mark Walden really goes to town with these descriptions. Nothing is sacred. If it can be attacked and destroyed by aliens, it probably will be attacked and destroyed by aliens at some point in this book. Call me strange, but I really like the plot idea of the whole world being under attack by aliens. And I also really like the unanswered questions that crop up about what appears to be happening to Sam's body as the book progresses, and that really helps to keep the pages turning. I have to admit, sometimes it does feel like you've heard this and read this before in other books and seen it in other films. Uh, the big motherships flying over every city of the world does feel a bit like Independence Day, but that doesn't stop this book from being extremely exciting. I'm definitely going to read book two when it comes out, as book one left me excited enough to really want to find out what's going to happen next. Unless an alien comes down and eats me or something. What's that noise? <laughs>